Yo, what's going on guys, your boy Harrison or Harry's Bone, and before I get into the video, I just want to let all of you know that I may or may not have a video up next week since I will be out of town. But the other day, my sister said to me, hey Harrison, I saw this really funny video by Jenna Marbles, you should go check it out. And in that very moment, all of my Vietnam flashbacks came to me. I remember the biggest disgrace to touch the YouTube world. For those of you who have no idea who this goddess of cringe is, she's a YouTuber who has been uploading for about 6 years and has over 16 million subs. Now. When I was 12, I watched like 3 of her videos, and as a 12 year old, I thought she was cringy. And now as a 16 year old, it's even worse. Her content is literally meant to make the most childish of children laugh, and apparently there's 16 million of those on YouTube. Okay guys, what does every cringy channel have in common? Yup, you guessed it, ASMR. I took all the internet's favorite things and combined them into one video to maximize the fun. ASMR, which is whispering or making soft, pleasing sounds. Mukbang or mukbang, which is just eating on camera. Unboxing, gaming, and this will also be a tutorial because I don't think this video exists on the internet. Well, I don't want to waste your time any further, so I went ahead and made a montage of what the rest of the video is. Thank god I'm on a diet because I wouldn't be able to eat chips for a month if I was you guys. So I have a quick question for you guys. If you want to get a lot of views, what do you do? A. Make some funny and original content. B. Start a fake fight on Twitter to make your sub count soar. Or C. Make an entire video while sitting in the bathtub. Personally, I would choose A, but Jenna definitely thinks the answer is C. So I made one of these in the past. It was called Thoughts from a Bathtub, where I said I got all my best thinking done in the bathtub and told you my thoughts. So not only is she making a video while in the bathtub, but she has actually made two of these? I repeat, two of these? Where is the creativity on YouTube gone? But not only is this video uncreative, but the stuff that she says literally makes me want to strangle myself until my eyeballs literally fall out of my head. A bad time to have diarrhea is when you're on a zipline. Why leave a question blank on a test when you could leave it blanket? At least then it would be warm. What goes up must come down. Unless you jump on a trampoline with a jetpack on. One time I wished upon a cloud. Oh. My. God. It doesn't get much worse than this. I would honestly rather have a lunch date at McDonald's with Satan himself than be one of her 16 million miserable subscribers. And when you thought that it didn't get any worse than that, I was wrong. Jenna proceeds to make a 6 minute video about a dog chasing a drone. And literally the first two and a half minutes are just her giving a disclaimer about getting your dog injured by chasing a drone. She claims that you need to keep him safe and you need to make sure that you know your dog's limits. Then the next three and a half minutes is what appears to be the same five clips of the dog chasing around a drone using a super shaky GoPro and horrible camera shots. Here's a 24 second preview for those of you who don't believe me. <music> I guess one benefit that both you guys and I have received from these videos is what not to do on YouTube. If anyone watching this video creates or plans on creating YouTube content, please, I beg of you, at least make it more interesting than this garbage. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video.